Hi, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to our channel. We're here to share our Pollingo project which is in voting and polling website. This is our login page where user can log into their account. As user 1 is currently not registered so he's not able to log in. Let's register the user 1 account. We've used validations for phone number that phone number should be 10 digits. We have created a validation function for password that password should contain a uppercase letter, lowercase letter, a number and a special character and should be 8 digits. User 1 registered successfully and now user 1 can log into their account. This is the user's dashboard, where users can see the active competitions and can vote to their contestants. Also users can see their voting history and also can apply for their own battles. This is the admin dashboard where admin can see the total users, active battles, pending battle requests, etc. Admin have permissions to start a new battle, view battle requests submitted by users, edit active battles, can see registered users' details and their own voting history. Let's create a new battle. We've to enter the two users' details here like name and upload their images. And choose the end date and time of the competition. As data uploaded successfully. Now this battle is live to every user and now users can vote their contestants. Let's log it in as user 1. Now user can vote for their contestant and also can see in their voting history for whom they voted in past. User 1 voted successfully and their vote count updated on web page. Below the name of contestants users can see which user got the highest votes and who's winning. Let's submit a battle request for user 1. User have to enter their name they want to display in battle and have to enter their Instagram profile URL which is not necessary and user have to upload their image for battle. As you can see that admin received the user one battle request successfully. But we need more contestant battle request to start user one battle. Let's send more battle requests from other users account. Creating new user account.
let's submit a battle request from user to account. We've received both users' requests now. As we can see now other contestants' names who requested for in battle. Let's create one more account and submit in battle request. Now we have three users battle request, we can start a battle between two users. Let's start a battle of user 2 with user 1. As admin approved the user 1 and user 2 request and now they will get a notification in their account that their request has been approved and with all the details of their contestant. Let's go to user's account to view the notifications. As of now admin only approved their request but not started their battle so currently users are not able to view their battle in active battles. Let's check user 2 account notification. Let's start their battle now so that users can vote their contestants. After clicking on start battle button, admin have to choose the date and time when the battle will end. As you can see battle has been started and now users can see this battle in active battles and also able to vote for their contestants. Let's submit a vote from user 1 account. Now let's submit a vote from user 2 account. Now submit a vote from user 3 account.
Let's check the responsiveness of website. As the website created using Bootstrap so the website is fully responsive and can be used on any platform. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful or insightful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment sharing your thoughts or any questions you may have. Sharing this video with your friends and colleagues who might benefit from it would mean a lot. Don't miss out on future content hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you're always updated with the latest tips, tutorials, and insights on PHP, MySQL, and open source software development. Your support is truly appreciated and fuels the creation of more valuable content. Thank you for being a part of our community. You can download the source code from bio link. Thank you my friend.